before we'll start the tutorial, let me show you first my marks. I have an online store in Spreadshirt and this spring known as Spring, where you can buy various apparels and drinkwares that most of them I designed it myself. Link on my store are provided in the description below so you can check it out and you can choose different products with different designs. You even have the options to choose which product you like most. If you want to see more products, you can scroll it down and click the load more for more interesting designs and exciting products. If you want to surprise your loved ones with gifts, this might be a good option. So guys, if you want to buy one of these products, it means a lot to me because it helps maintaining my channel. So thank you guys. Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. For those who are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for updates on my videos. Today I will be showing you how to do this. Let me begin by creating a new composition and I will name it main. It's 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames per second and I will change this one to 10 seconds duration. Click OK. We'll create another composition. I will name it placeholder. Then I will change it this time instead of 10 seconds duration. I will just change it to 5 seconds duration. And I will click OK. I will create again another composition and I will name it image with effect. Five seconds duration, 30 frames per second, and I will click OK. Another composition and I will name it grid form. I will make again another composition and I will name it slide one. Open this placeholder one and then open the assets. By the way, you can download this on the link below that I provided. I will use this kind of photo because I like this one. And then click the keyboard P to reveal the position. Just it a little bit down. The other person can be seen on the canvas. Open image. Go to layer. New solid layer. And then click OK. On this layer, I will uh, apply an effect on it called grid. I will just use 6 horizontally and then 4 vertically. I think this is good enough. So what I will do is again create a duplication of this solid and then highlight this too. Click T on my keyboard to rebuild the opacity. Change this number here 10% and the second one will be 20%. After that one, I will go to layer again, create a new solid, I will name it circle. Click OK. Put it in between those two solid layers and I will apply an effect on it called circle. So drag this corner and make sure that you will do it like this. Inverted. Color will be black. So now you can see like this. Highlight the circle again and apply an effect called motion tile. Put the output width probably 650 and then the output height will be 670. So now you can see that's here. All you have to do is to make sure that this dot in here will be at the center of your corner grid. I will show you like this. And then on the vertical side, do it too. Oh, 
All you have to do is to pre-compose these three layers. Highlight it, pre-compose. And I will name it grid PC, meaning pre-composition. Move all attributes to our new composition. So now click the project, put the placeholder one underneath the grid PC, make the blend mode add. You can see photos with grid. So now I will put a adjustment layer in here. Put it in between those two layers, the grid PC and the placeholder, and I will apply an effect on it. And I will click the stopwatch on scale. Go back my playhead to zero. Probably I will just make it 140. If we play this one, you can see that there's a little bit of animation on scale of the photos. So I will open the grid comp, go to project, drag this image with effects, duplicate this one to 24 times because our grid here, the number of it is 24, 6 horizontally and 4. So I will duplicate it 24 times, click the control and D. After duplicating this one, you have to create a mask on it. So in order to do that, first open to show the rollers. I want to show the guides snap to guides create this guide so that it's easy for me to create the mask on it but you have to be sure that if possible these guides must be at the proper position like this one you have to adjust this one to make it at the center of the grid lines that you have created so you have twilight layer, make it solo so that it's easier for you to make a shape like this. Click it again, the second one, press the solo icon and make the second mask on this one. Click the third one and click solo icon again and then do the third mask on this one. But I will not let you wait for so long just to do this. So I will skip this video and we'll be back. As you can see, we are now finished with our masking with the grids. So all you have to do for now is just to highlight all, toggle the switches, click the motion blur and make it 3D space. So you will see that all of them are highlighted and then I will create a camera. I will click layer and new camera. Use the 35 millimeter preset camera locked it so that when i click ctrl a the camera will be excluded click p to reveal the position go to 1 and 15 seconds i will click this little stopwatch icon make a frame go back to zero put figures on the z position it is 1880 so all of this will be outside of the canvas you will see that everything dark now so all we have to do is highlight these keyframes press f9 to easy is it So we are now done moving the keyframes on each layer randomly. So we will try to play it what happens. This is now the looks of your composition with effects. So now I will go to slide, drag the image or the red comp one onto this composition. Press the keyboard key D to open opacity. Go to 3 seconds and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Go back to 0. Also adjust this opacity to 0. Duplicate it. And I will apply an effect. Box, box blur. Put it into 100%. And repeat edge pixels. I will again duplicate this one. Control D. And then delete the fast box blur. 
apply a gradient ramp on it change this one probably a purple one so i like purple and then again duplicate this one by pressing the ctrl d probably i will delete this one this gradient ramp and apply a drop shadow on it distance probably 20 and the softness probably 35 duplicate this one direction to 240 i will move each layer so that there will be a variation probably at 5 frames i'll go to 10 frames i will move this one again So this is now what it looks like. On this composition, I will just add a text and I will name it grid. I use Bibas new font, but you can choose whatever you want, what kind of font that you want to use and for me i just want to use the font i'll go back and open the image with effects i also wanted to create text here on this portion and i will probably choose a different font just this one myriad make a text So now I will just click the grid and toggle it down so that I can animate it. Click the opacity, make the opacity 0%. Selector 1, go to 2 seconds maybe. Click start. And I will go probably 3 and 15 seconds and I will go 100. And I will go to advance randomize order i will turn it on and then i will click the grid comp one and create another shape to create a, a little bit of a shadow So we are done with the slide one. What I will do is just to go to the project panel, create a folder called comps. And then I will create another folder called scene one. So all those compositions that I created, I will put it on the scene one. So all of them will be inside the folder scene one, except the main. I don't want it to put on the folder scene one because it's a main, right? So now I will create again another folder and I will name it scene two. So to create a scene two, I will just duplicate all these scene one composition. Once it's done, drag it down to the scene 2. Take this one down. Open up the scene 2 folder. Those compositions that I wanted to change, I will open it up. Especially those are affected. Turn the visibility of the text because I don't use it. Go open up the placeholder too and delete photo in here. Change it to this kind of photo. Click P for the position. Move it down a bit. Change the placeholder 1 to placeholder 2. In order to change it, make sure that the placeholder 1 is being highlighted. Drag the placeholder 2 while holding the Alt boom it will change right away same also with this one the grid comp 
you have to change one by one so in order to change the one the same as usual highlight both of them alt key while holding it drag it down the image with effects too so it will change the photo It's gonna take a while but I want to show you guys how to do it. So now we are done. We will go ahead and play it again on what happened. I will save it first because it might crash. You also have to change the grid comp 1 to grid comp 2. Lightly here. Enable the time remapping. And then I think I have to move it up to all the switches. Probably I will make it soft light. I will also open the scene one slide. Add again this lightly. Enable the time remapping. I make the blend mode to soft light on the slide to turn off the visibility on grid so that there's no text on it so i will open the main now and i will drag down the slide one and the slide two i will move my plate probably at the five and let's see what we made so guys i hope you like and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and press the notification bell so that you will be updated on all videos that we will be uploading from time to time okay and thanks for watching